Malta is pushing the boundaries of spatial technology. Through the ERDF-funded Syntagram project, Malta is creating a platform to make it easier for government entities to collect and process data. The challenge is to keep it simple. How is this done? It is accomplished through maps, images and three-dimensional visualization using state-of-the-art technology while ensuring the highest standards to policy, data strategy and data protection. Are you interested? You are never too old or too young to keep developing your career path. The Planning Authority, through the EU-funded Spatial Train Scholarship Scheme, is offering employees working within the public service and the public sector the opportunity to invest in your future and get qualified in the field of geospatial technology, or, as we refer to it, geomatics. Geomatics may now be considered as an integral part of the managerial stream within the public service. I'm currently following a master's degree course in urban and regional planning with Harriet Watt University by correspondence through distance learning. This course covers various modules, including planning theories, spatial vision and environmental planning amongst others. The scheme is offering a total of 175 scholarships at certificate, diploma level or bachelor or master's degree. Ultimately, this would strengthen the link between my ongoing research and my ongoing studies in this area. And hopefully in the future, I would be able to pass the knowledge to prospective students who want to start studying. Applications for scholarships in bachelor's and master's degree close on Friday, the 6th of September 2019. For more information, visit www.pa.org.mt. This project is part financed by the European Union through the European Social Fund 2014 to 2020, investing in human capital to create more opportunities and promote the well-being of society.